think the audio is on. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm out here in my uh, house coat because it's about 10:30, which is oh, off my my time schedule. Custard pie. That mm, yeah, was pretty good. So I had another piece of coconut custard pie, and I said, "Whoa, whoa that was good." However, oh, a little silly. Well, it wasn't sitting just right. So I said, "Well, I got to do something here because uh, I." Uh, really don't want to go to bed or fall asleep with all that crap in my stomach. And then to really put the, uh, the hammer in, I, uh, decided that, uh, let me have a little soup. I mean, it was just one of those things to where I just couldn't stop eating. chicken noodle soup, so I thought, well, let me have a little of that. Well, next thing you know, I feel like, I don't know what I feel like. I like to say I feel like a stuffed pig, but I can only assume what a stuffed pig would feel like. So, uh, that's kind of like where I'm at at this point. So, well, instead of just laying there on the couch watching, a lot of nothing on TV, and uh, feeling <coughs> really stuffed, which is not a good thing to go to bed. How many repeats can you watch? Because TV right now is just loaded with repeats. can save a little time which I was going to do it when I was done but the wife came out and told me that the dinner was done so I went in the house but I figured let me get a coat of uh, something on this so that tomorrow if I want to finish it off I can and I don't have to uh, be held up. And if I were to do this tomorrow, I would have to wait until it dries. So the whole tomorrow would have been kind of wasted, where now I'll probably be able to put this one up tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to start the other one immediately or not, only because I have something else that I really want to get done, and I don't know uh, if it's going to happen or not. Now, we have a plan for this.
don't want to just put a clear rod it to bring out the wood and protect it. I want to do something with it to kind of give it a little bit of character. So. Yeah, I was talking about how uh, the wife and I went to Walmart yesterday and, uh, and how the people were acting as far as uh, civilized. And uh, the employees in Walmart they're all walking around with no mask on. I said to one of them, I said, didn't they give you guys masks or something? And, nah. Well, you know, I can understand it, but I can't. They're trying to make it as comfortable as they can for us. You know, they're not trying to put anybody into a panic. And if you walk into a store, and everybody in there has his surgical mask on. You know, you might start thinking twice. I mean, you gotta think twice anyway, but you know, I gotta give Walmart credit for, uh, for thinking of these things. Plus, the employees for being there, they're, they're being pleasant and I'm sure that they have a pep talk, a pep talk, a pep talk in the morning, you know, about or when they come on shift, as to uh, what they expect from them and not. So you know, you got to give them credit. Plus, you know, they, they've got the shelf stocked. I mean, you know, they're they're trying to make it as normal as possible. you know, with less inconvenience as possible. And I gotta give him credit for that. Anyway, I feel I gotta give him credit for that. Because uh, when you go in there, you, you don't go in there panicky, you know, where you're trying to clear out the shelves and buy everything that you get your hands on and ripping things out of one another's hands. It's just business as usual. There's less people in there, uh, which is good, but it's, uh, they're doing a good job. That's all I got to say. And uh, I got to give them credit for that. And the employees. I mean, you know, here we are shut down. A lot of them are out of work. A lot of people are out of work that want to work. A lot of them are at work that... You know, uh, that aren't working, that really shouldn't be working. Unfortunately, uh, it's making it tough for them because there's no income. I would assume, however, that everybody would kind of understand that. Uh, what I mean by that is the UI companies the gas companies, you know, the utilities, your landlord, his bank. You know, I mean, it's got a, you know, it's got a roll all the way down. And if, if everybody thinks about it and says, well, you know, he couldn't pay the rent because he hasn't worked. You know, uh, and then what they do have, they got to have to worry about food. But man, I gotta pay the mortgage. You know, I didn't buy a piece of property here to, here to, you know, to have me pay for them to live there. Or I can't afford the mortgage unless they pay. Well, you know, then you say, well, you know what? The bank is gonna understand this. 
The bank doesn't want your property. They're not into real estate. So they're going to be just as lenient as anybody else should be. Now, would you want to be? No. I mean, naturally, I wouldn't want to be. But, you know, why make it worse by getting pissed off about it, saying, you owe me, I want my money, when they can't give it to me. So now I'm making them a nervous wreck, as well as myself, when, in fact, everybody, meaning the people that we have to pay to survive, utilities, uh, our rents and stuff like that, uh, I mean, if they think about it, they're, they're probably going to be uh, waived, you know, to where they're going to have to pay it, but they're not going to be losing anything, and the bank will make, or the utility company, somebody, they'll all make arrangements where everybody can live comfortably and they can still get their money once this is over. Now, back a few years ago, when we started having that desert storm problem, uh, I got a, I owned a store at the time. Uh, I didn't have any problems. However, everything that I had wasn't a necessity. It was all hobby. So business was a little slower. So the distributor sometimes will call me up and say, you got to order anything, you know, it's a little slow, uh, we can give you great deals, this and that. You know, and I said, well, yeah, I mean, you like to take advantage of the deals because once it's over, you know, I can make a little bit more money because I paid a lot less for it. It doesn't mean that I'm going to uh, rape anybody on it. I can save them a little bit. But at the same token, I can still make more money. So, uh, I said, all right. So I called my bank and said, you know, I want to do a little overdraft here, a little overdrawn. <laughs> so, this was a little before all this started happening. I knew it was coming in. And I did it on a non-secure. The bank knew that I was good for it. However, the main branch, the main part of the bank, the, the branch knew. The bank, I mean, they knew me. The bank itself doesn't know you. So they have to follow procedures. So don't get insulted by it if your bank is calling you up and saying, Mr. So-and-so, you know, or Mrs. So-and-so, uh, we see that you're behind. Because they don't know you like your branch does. It's not your branch calling. It's the collection side of the bank that's calling. Because your branch knows you, knows that you're okay, and you're good for it. And the only thing that the bank itself does is they may check your account to see how long you've been with them and uh, how, what kind of transactions you've been doing with the bank. But for the most part, as a person, they really don't know you like your branch would know you. So, uh, I get a phone call. Three weeks. I was three weeks behind on the first month. <laughs> because this desert storm thing started whacking around. and uh, Which they kind of knew, like I said. It was just before that. It was just starting to break. That's why the distributors wanted to start moving some product, get it out of the way, so they wouldn't be stuck with it. Uh, and actually, you know, I, I decided I was going to bite on it. So, uh, and I didn't want to take it out of the, the account, you know, out of the store. Because I was going to need that to, to run the business. So I just borrowed the money. So anyway, three weeks in, I ended up running late. Now, where I'm going with this is I get a phone call from the bank. Mr. So-and-so, yes. Uh, you're so-and-so from so-and-so? I go, yeah. All Calm Concepts, Communications Outlet was the name of my business. So I said, yeah. 
Well, we see here in our records that uh, you borrowed ten grand and uh, you missed your first payment. Is this is this true? I go, well, apparently it is, or you wouldn't be calling me. I says, and yes, I did. Right. She says, well, I'm not calling you up to to look for it. She says, I just want to see or. Uh, let you know that if you're in the military, there's a waiver. So you don't have to worry about paying it right now. I said, oh, well, I appreciate that. I says, and I can lie to you because uh, I still have my card. I am still part of. However, I'm not active. Well, I appreciate that. Well, the next thing you know, she put me down as being part of the military because she did look up the account and she knew that I was okay. And and apparently she called the branch manager because he called me <laughs> and said, uh, I just got a phone call because that uh, <laughs> you fell behind. Uh, and he's the actual, he's the one who told me about it. She says, and uh, what they did was, she had said that you were an honest guy, and you says, you know, you can lie to her because you're still carrying your card, you're still a member, you're still part of, however, you're not active right now. So she called me up, and uh, I'm calling you to say that uh, we put you down as active, so you don't have to worry about it for a few months. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, great. work or it's not all right so meanwhile there's just enough finish on there to where the wood isn't bare that's all I was looking for I'm not looking for any you know fancy gloss or, or crazy looking thing you know it's gonna be up in the ceiling nobody's gonna see it so I didn't want the wood because it's gonna be up in the ceiling in the summertime with all the heat uh, I don't want the wood to just dry out on me so tomorrow, I'm going to take this. I do it now, but it's 10.30 at night. I don't want to wake up the neighbors. So I'm going to take this and cut this. Because you can see this is where the speakers were. So I'm going to take this and cut it. And place them over. Just to protect it. And I'm not going to use all of this. I'm just going to use the, the piece here. I'm not going to use all this crap in here. I'm just going to cut it out so I can get to it and just use the grill part and set it over it. That's all that's going to happen. So. so, well, anyway, I'm in the middle of editing a video at this time of night. Yeah, I hadn't even checked the email yet to see you know uh, how many videos that are there from you guys see I don't use the uh, the browser or the or the YouTube uh, site for checking the messages they come into my email on my email side which is Thunderbird and then I just click on it it opens the link you know and then I don't have to have all this shit going. It opens the link, it covers the email at the time, I view it, I comment on it, and then I click on it, and the link comes back up, and I delete, and I start over again. I just don't like everything happening, like, you know, up in the top, and then you got a whole list, you know. Uh, so, I like to be able to go to where it is, know what I'm doing, and get it done. You know, I just cleaned this saw, remember? Yeah. So anyway, so anyway, that's in there. It's long, so I'm doing a lot of chopping on it. Um, I really didn't want to just shorten it down because uh, I 
I just see something here, right here, a little bit of air gap. Because uh, I'd rather just chop out parts and let you read in between the lines instead of going through the whole thing and trying to catch it on the word. Yeah, that was the only slide. Oh, okay, I can see why now. So, so it's going to be kind of choppy. But you guys are probably used to my choppy videos anyway. Someday, someday, I will, uh, Maybe try to edit it properly. I mean, I know how. The software will allow me to do it. But at night, like this, sometimes I just haven't had the time. Because, you know, I'm beat, I'm tired, I want to watch your videos. I don't want to be up all night. You know, I don't live YouTube. That's like during the day. You know, somebody will call me up and say, can you do something for me? I'll do it in a, can you help me with this? Or, you know, it'll only take a minute. What do you think I do? Hang around doing nothing all day. You know? Well, see, they don't. They hang around and do nothing all day. So apparently they're assuming that I do the same thing. Well, it's not that way. Well, what are you doing? I'm working on the yard. Oh, oh, oh. Now, I'm working on the yard. It's not their fault because I decided to buy the acreage that I have. You know, and they've only have, you know, a sixteenth of an acre and things. I mean, I'm not saying it for any other reason, but, you know, I chose to have it. Therefore, I, I want to work on it. And I want to, you know, I got things to do. I got to take care of it. And they just sit home and uh, think about what they're going to do. Well, let me see if I can get Buzz to do something. No, I'm doing, Buzz is busy. And I bet you every one of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because either you're the one that's always asking for something from somebody, or you're the one that everybody's always asking you for. Yeah. Well, I'm not doing nothing, so Buzz shouldn't be doing anything. And Buzz knows how to do it, so let me go see Buzz. No, Buzz has got a life, and it's not taking care of everybody that knows him. You know? I help my friends, yeah. But when they start getting stupid and lazy and depending on me, no. Few people depend on me. I mean, there's a lot of people that depend on me at that point, depending on what it is. But personal life, my kids and my wife, and, and naturally my boys. are ready. I'll put the clip on that tomorrow. This will be dry. I can hook this up. I'm going to use the back. I left it a little larger. It's got a lip on it both sides. I left it that way as well as on the top. Um, this way I have something to screw into with the rafters. So anyway, I'm going to go back in and finish working on that video and uh, let you know that it's coming. So, you know, well, you'll know it's coming when you see it there. But uh, again, I'm just kind of filling in on it now because it's uh, it's going to be, it's a long one. It's basically me just sitting here working on this thing. So it's, you know, it's and it's basically me just sitting here working on this thing. 
So if you want to watch it and you know watch me do what I'm doing, and you just need something to watch while you go to sleep, <laughs> yeah, there it is. Um, but if you want to just see what goes on, watch the first two or three minutes, watch the last two or three minutes, and everything else in the middle is about the same, just that there's some bullshit going on and, and different things that may have happened uh, through the course of me doing it. Alright, that's all sealed, signed, delivered. Oh, I forgot to bring this cup in. I was thinking of that last night. Let me put this over here. Yeah. Uh, let me turn off this light over here. And if I don't go in shortly, the wife is going to be calling me on the phone. But she's in bed already. And I told her I was going to be coming out here. But she'll be calling me to make sure that everything is okay. And I really don't want her to start worrying about it. I'd rather have her um, sleeping. I gotta put a motion light here. Well, most of the time, when we come out here, uh, at this time of night, there's a flashlight. But I should have a motion light in there. Okay, there is a motion light here. There it is. And there's another one over here. There it is. And there's two more in the front of the house. And there's one over the door here, which I gotta readjust it and put a new bulb in it. And then there's some over there, but I'm not going that way. Oh, it's such a nice night out tonight. You know, this is almost a night to where, you know, you can sit out here with a couple of friends and have coffee or a cup of tea. I'm not going to say a drink, because I don't drink, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs>